The legacy of Pennsylvania steelworkers lives in the bridges, railways, and skyscrapers that make up our great American landscape. But our workers' loyalty was repaid, you know it better than anybody, with total betrayal. Our politicians have aggressively pursued a policy of globalization, moving our jobs, our wealth, and our factories to Mexico and overseas. Globalization has made the financial elite who donate to politicians very, very wealthy. I used to be one of them. Hate to say it, but I used to be one. But it's left millions of our workers with nothing but poverty and heartache. When subsidized foreign steel is dumped into our markets, threatening our factories, the politicians have proven, folks, have proven they do nothing. For years they watched on the sidelines as our jobs vanished and our communities were plunged into depression-level unemployment. Many of these areas have still never recovered and never will unless I become president. And for the past now more than a year, I have been traveling across our country meeting people who have told me their wages haven't budged, even though they see executives who give themselves big bonuses. You know, I say this without trying to be partisan or personal, but the economy just works better when we have a Democrat in the White House. Then they're going to recover fast. Our politicians took away from the people their means of making a living and supporting their families. Skilled craftsmen and tradespeople and factory workers have seen the jobs they love shipped thousands and thousands of miles away. Many Pennsylvania towns, once thriving and humming, are now in a state of total disrepair. This wave of globalization has wiped out totally, totally, our middle class. It doesn't have to be this way. We can turn it around, and we can turn it around fast. But if we're going to deliver real change, we're going to have to reject the campaign of fear and intimidation being pursued by powerful corporations, media elites, and political dynasties. The people who rigged the system for their benefit will do anything and say anything to keep things exactly the way they are. <laughs> the people who rigged the system are supporting Hillary Clinton because they know as long as she is in charge, Nothing's going to change. The inner cities will remain poor. The factories will remain closed. The borders will remain open. The special interests will remain firmly in control. Hillary Clinton and her friends in global finance want to scare America into thinking small. And they want to scare American people out of voting for the better future. And you have a great future, folks. You have a great future. These people have given her tens of millions of dollars. Thank you. My campaign has the absolute opposite message. I want you to imagine a much better life and a life where you can believe in the American dream again. Right now you can't do that.